Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an Audio Precision Quick Tip. In this quick tip, we're going to take a brief look at the bandpass frequency sweep measurement in sequence mode. Bandpass frequency sweep is very much like the step frequency sweep discussed in Quick Tip 203. The difference is in the analyzer filtering. Step frequency sweep has high pass, low pass, and weighting filters. Instead, bandpass frequency sweep has a tuned bandpass filter that allows you to constrain the result data to a defined range around the stimulus frequency. First, choose a start and stop frequency. By default, the sweep moves from high to low frequencies, but you can make the sweep move in either direction by your choice of start and stop. Next, define the number of frequency steps or points and the spacing between them. We'll use eight points in a logarithmic pattern. Alternatively, you can choose a linear series of points or choose custom to enter or edit specific point values and arrangements. From this dialog, you can also export or import a custom sweep table. You can choose as few as two points or as many as 65,000 plus. You can optionally add an equalization curve to the generator. When you click Start, you'll hear the tones as they're generated and see the results plotted on the graph. Bandpass Frequency Sweep provides a number of results for each sweep, including level, gain, and more. A bandpass filter that automatically tracks the generator frequency is applied to the results. Using the selectivity control, you can adjust the width of the filter from 1 octave to 1 24th of an octave, or make it very narrow by choosing window width, the width of the FFT window. That's all for now. You'll find more information in the documentation provided with APX500. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.